Welcome to the headlines. I'm Louis Salu. Thank you for joining us. Suji disaster relief teams are in Jiaodan Township, Myanmar, carrying out their second fertilizer distribution and spreading the story of the bamboo coin banks. The message is, as always, anyone can help, whether rich or poor. During this particular distribution, Colonel Nguyen Duan, an advisor from Myanmar's Minister of Defense, arrived solely to participate in this event. This long line of people is here to pick up the now famed fertilizer that Suji has brought. One bag is 50 kilos. The volunteers, dripping with sweat, deliver them carefully into waiting arms and receive in return grateful smiles. Everyone, volunteer and villager alike, is filled with happy satisfaction. Later, volunteers relate the lesson of the bamboo coin banks. By joining what one has, regardless of how little it may be, with the gifts of many, a powerful force for good can be created. The lesson is driven home with each bag lifted. Colonel Nian Dun from Myanmar's Ministry of Defense is attending this distribution. As the group sings, Nian follows along easily, except that the words from his mouth are the Mien language, not Chinese. Nian explains that he, so taken with the song, asked his family to help translate. If you don't know the, what you call, meaning of the prayer song, you're singing without knowing the prayer song, it's not touching. Impressed both with the song and Su Ji's work, the colonel took it upon himself to translate the meaning for local people. And his efforts have not ended there. My whole family would you like to have an opportunity to, to help the Su Ji. But uh, all the people, they have individual things to do. But Mali is the, what you call, the youngest of our family, and we devoted Mali. So we, what you call, donated Mali to Suchi to do every day walks with Suchi together. Mali is the colonel's niece. Daily, she is up at dawn, following Suchi's schedule and aiding them with translation. Mali speaks English and was originally scheduled to work abroad, but when the cyclone hit, she decided to stay. Maybe two or three more years, I decided to help Suchi because Suchi people really uh, help from very far on Suchi members every day, every time, smiling all the time and uh, showing the care for everyone. So all the things really touch my heart. Setting aside her opportunity to work abroad, Malay will remain in Myanmar to work at Suchi's side, a critical bridge between volunteers and local people.